Are you tired of the voice of self-criticism or judgmentalism? The good news is we're made for more than this. Hi, I'm Warren, the parish priest here at St Columbus. Glad you could join me for my message of the week. We're made to be filled by God. And that fullness is love. God is love, and as St Paul says, God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Of course, that fullness shows itself in our love of others, but we must not neglect the work of love deep within ourselves, the harsh voice, the judgmental voice within, whether it's directed to others or to ourselves, is to be displaced by the light of love poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Notice I said displaced by love. Our failure to live up to the love poured into our hearts is not meant to result in a harsh self-criticism. It's not a matter of attacking ourselves if we don't do the right thing by others because that would just be another expression of the problem to actually attack ourselves for not loving people. In the same vein, forcing ourselves to love others or to dial down our negative thoughts, attitudes or actions towards others just generally continues the harshness we're trying to stop. It's just being pushed back onto ourselves. The ultimate remedy to the harshness of judgmentalism and self-criticism is love, specifically to be filled by God's love, to let that love displace self-hatred and the hatred of others, rather than us trying to crush what we don't like in ourselves. Let God's love fill us uh, rather than try to crush what we don't like. And this is why participating in all the spiritual practices of the church, honed over centuries of use, is so important. We learn to love ourselves through the liturgy. We learn that God loves all people, including ourselves, in prayer, through reading scripture, by receiving the Eucharist. The remedy to judgmentalism, other directed or self-directed, is to let God's presence in our lives be magnified, not to try and crush the harshness that still lives in us. Let God's love of us and those around us be our healing. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.